Howdy, here's Bonnie with a quick ad. I started podcast recording. What I missed from the beginning was a platform that allowed me to record my interviews with my guests in a way that gives me complete overview over the entire situation, over the audio quality, video quality, internet connection. And exactly after three years of podcasting, I finally found my platform to record on. It's called Sandcaster. It's so easy to record a podcast on Sandcaster. Log in using your browser and start recording a high quality podcast right away. Record studio quality sound and up to 4K video with a few guests. Feel a sense of Zen knowing Zencaster's multi layer backups and show you always have your recordings in the highest quality, even if the connection is unstable. All you have to do is go to Zencaster.com slash pricing, that's spelled Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R dot com slash pricing and use my code Bonnie's Legends, that's B-O-N-N-I-E-S-L-E-G-E-N-D-S and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster pay plan. I want you to have the same easy experience as I do for all my podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. Welcome to a new episode of Bonnie Sessions. I'm Bonnie Obviously, your host. And in today's interview, I had the pleasure to speak again to Daphna. Daphna has been definitely one of the most listened artists and admired artists of my uh, listening experience over the past two years. She definitely, like, every song she put out, it was, like, on repeat over here. And, like, um, I, like I have always a big smile on my face whenever her music is coming on while I'm driving or something and I'm putting on shuffle. And, then, for example, today, I Want to Feel came on. And I was like, hell yeah! She has this talent of writing songs that feel like she has read my diary and has taken something straight from it and put it into a song. And, I mean, we talk. We already talked, um... In January 2022, back when Oh Pretty New Music, which is my music feature of this podcast, was a blog. And we talked over Zoom already about her writing process. And um, also this time again, where we're talking about what's more romantic. And so um, it makes a lot of sense that it feels this way. Oh, yeah, I'm just really proud of her. And um, I was really excited to talk to her again this summer. We kept in touch and I really loved her last album when I was with you. And yeah, I'm just really excited for everything that's coming for her. And um, I had a really good time talking to her again this summer. And we talked about what's more romantic, I already said that. But we talked basically about the writing process, what it, the inspiration was behind and what her favorite li- really lyric line from it is. So have fun listening. You can find all of her socials in the show notes and also for video and visual content of this podcast episode you can find it on bonnie selections on instagram thank you for listening thank you for being here please feel please feel please feel free please (laughs) please feel free to leave a review wherever you're listening to and have a great time all right um ladies and gentlemen i have daphna here hello (laughs) Um, I I had you on a pretty new music back when it was like still a blog feature, mm-hmm. and I um that had something to do because I was still in high school and I did not have the time to edit 
you know those episodes but today i'm actually like really finding it sad that i did not you know i mean they didn't really um sometimes most like these are easy so they're not um ne- they don't necessarily need a, need a lot of editing mm-hmm. so i'm a bit sad why i didn't do that because <laughs> now because now it's like now it's like really logical question to reach out to all the people i've interviewed back then and being like hey do you mind if i use the audio because <laughs> i was just saying back then like it's just written form it's fine mm-hmm. um so i don't know maybe i'll do it i don't know yeah <laughs> might as well try yeah Yeah. um no but we talked back then about we jumped the gun and Mm -hmm. um obviously great song and you've put your album out yeah in between yay Mm -hmm. which i haven't gotten the vinyl yet i'm so sorry oh don't worry about it but (laughs) i had like i had like on my birthday list last year i had it on my christmas list and somehow no one wanted to buy it now i get Um, like international shipping is crazy too so yeah yeah, it's tough yeah dealing that with myself you know selling my books it's just Mm -hmm. um yeah sometimes people don't want to pay for it and i get it Mm -hmm. um but it's yeah it's it's obviously sad i think shipping should be something more accessible for everyone (laughs) yeah i don't know how like other companies do it where they like i guess if they have like bulk orders but still it's just yeah crazy to me still (laughs) yeah um anyway maybe um i'm actually throwing a party this for my birthday this summer oh so um (laughs) Maybe I just added to that list too. <laughs> like, if you want to show up, you have to bring me. <laughs> Do you still have some, or are they so? Yeah, to- yeah, I still have some. Um, nice. Probably will for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I just use you know the next paycheck I get from, yeah. from my job plus to like pay myself, be my own, be my own um, gift. <laughs> giver <laughs> um no but i love i love the album i actually been listening to um the man of my dreams um this afternoon oh, wow. very um i mean i knew i would interview you but i was mm-hmm. just putting it on because i was like in the mood for it <laughs> so, and then i noticed like oh my god i'm actually oh yeah i'm talking to you again <laughs> yeah um yeah i love i love the album and um um i actually noticed because I remember back when we talked about the we jumped the gun, mm-hmm. um, we kind of already touched on it that we kind of you know how like I talked about how I write poetry and you talked about how you wrote lyrics and how um, we both had like those moments where like one page was filled with you know romantic things about this one person and the next one was like screw him <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and um, yeah and I noticed that because um, I'm actually putting out my poetry collection. Oh, congrats! <laughs> um at the end of the year thank That's you exciting. and so um yeah I was listening to the man of my dreams and it is mostly around that it's like you know dreaming of someone and then being like I don't I don't I don't know if I want to be together <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um so thank you for writing so relatable songs um also um I know we're talking here about what's more romantic and mm-hmm. obviously um Usually when the, the episodes are coming out, it's usually already out for the listeners, but this time it's already out for me too. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I've actually hyped myself up during, um, like, I, you know, I woke up hangover from the festival. Like I went to a music <laughs> festival and I was like, and then I was like, listen, I was like, oh my God, today is June um, 2nd. Yeah, June 2nd. And I was like, oh my God, Daphne put out her song. And so I was like <laughs> listening to it on repeat Yay. and getting ready for the festival. Um, it's such a good song. Thank I really you. love it. <laughs> Thank you. It's on on my own repeat playlist. It's the third place already. <laughs> you see that? Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, love the song. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Do you want to start with the Bonnie Selections check, which is like five questions? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On the podcast. Okay. Obviously, we know the answer. What What's your name? Daphna. <laughs> so, when's your birthday? September twelfth. Yeah. So you So you were go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Me too. <laughs> oh really? Nice. Yeah. I don't yeah. know too much about us astrology but i guess 
are Virgos a bad thing? I don't know. What did what did they say? <laughs> um, well, I just hear a lot um, that we're overthinking a lot, and I mm. mean, um, that that kind of rings a bell for me. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like over traumatizing sometimes scenarios, uh... which like we're not not bad but we're like thinking for it like three weeks in a row <laughs> oh wow <laughs> um i mean that's how i relate to it maybe um <laughs> yeah um who's your legend um my mom she's mm-hmm. great very cool mm-hmm. look up to her a lot making your mom happy listening to this <laughs> <If> she listens <laughs> What's a song that just takes your breath away by how good it is every time you listen to it? Um, recently it's been Good Ones by Charlie XCX. I just like mm-hmm. love it so much. Like I can't stop l- listening to it just because it's so it's so fun and so catchy, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, true. I couldn't believe it's like a year ago already. She put that out as a single. I, I feel like has it been more? I feel like it's been like a lot like for some reason that song oh I think, oh yeah i think the album came out like a year ago but yeah the album like, but i guess that one oh yeah That's i guess fine. 2022 dang but for some reason that feels like forever ago to me <laughs> and um the last question of the check is what advice would you give your 16 year old self um i don't know i guess yeah just keep doing what I love and like not put any pressure on myself for anything just mm. do what I enjoy it'll work yeah. out <laughs> um have you already have you done music already when you were like 16 yeah I started I think around then yeah I was a lot more into it um I think yeah so one since I was like 12, 11 or 12 is when I really started like writing and stuff. okay yeah okay for um yeah for the listeners who haven't read the blog article of like one and a half years ago um, yeah that's wow. already <laughs> yeah um who haven't read the blog article and don't know who you are which is <laughs> we're not friends <laughs> um do you want to introduce yourself a bit or like tell me about the journey so far maybe what you've released maybe kind of touched on the album but yeah sure um I guess, yeah, I'm Daphna. I've been releasing music for about four, five years now, since 20, 2019, I think, was my first single. Um, but yeah, I've been writing for a while. I produce everything on my own, pretty much. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. I don't know. Yeah, I released my album uh, like over a year ago now. It was last May. Um but yeah, now I'm just working on the next thing. Nice, nice. And you've put a lot of singles already out since then. Yeah, um, I, think, I think I have probably 50 songs out, something like that, which is absurd to think about. But I just, I had a point where I was just making a song and then releasing it right away as soon as it was done. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so you don't do that anymore, right? But like, um, how... How do you kind of um, reflect on it um, that you've done that back then? Or like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's cool to see just like the growth and like, yeah, I definitely hear it in like my production and stuff too, of like my earlier songs. Like I feel like I've improved in that. And also then even like the marketing and like the artwork and everything, like mm. I'm glad that I kind of released a lot because it very much documents just every single part of me learning how to make music so yeah 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 can relate to that to writing too it's like um don't want to read my debut novel anymore but i'm glad i put it out to 15 (laughs) (laughs) so i can see the growth and everyone else can see the growth too Mm -hmm. um no i love that um i'm also i said that the last time too but you know i did not record I did not record it really. Well, I mean, I recorded it, but I did not use the audio. <laughs> but I, I tell you, like, how I'm really fascinated by you, like, that you do everything on yourself and you, like, you produce and um, also your website rocks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a kind of 
did the um it's not dot com it's dot rocks too right so oh yeah i i tried getting dot right. com but it was sixty thousand dollars to buy oh, it off wow. of whoever owned it so i settled for dot rocks <laughs> wow that's that's insane yeah but it, you know it rocks exactly. <laughs> the website rocks <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm just like I'm really like fascinated how how good how good you are, and so I wanted to say that to you again. <laughs> Thank you. And um, yeah, I also love how you know um, I think we're also now friends at this point on TikTok, so I like see your videos every time on my feed, <laughs> uh, friends feed, and um, I'm like fascinated because I like see your videos, and then sometimes one blows up. <laughs> to share like a song idea or anything and then you actually like um and then you actually like sit down and um that's how it seems you actually sit down and then finish the song and then you know mm-hmm. market it and pre-save campaign and everything and I, I really I really love that because sometimes uh you know there are a lot of artists out there which just push out song ideas and then it goes viral and then they're not really doing anything with it or they in the worst case they're like ruining it <laughs> and so i i really love how you um i mean i don't know i just love to see that i'd love to watch that how is it you know sometimes it feels like um i don't know like the same 15 people are like liking your videos and then at one point like mm-hmm. i don't know like hundred thousand likes and i'm like wow yeah. and then yeah i really love that just wanted to see <laughs> how do you kind of deal with that when that happens when you put out a song idea i mean is it is it really like a song idea like it's it's fresh probably mm-hmm. and you're like let's yeah. put it on the internet um yeah usually yeah what i'm posting is something i just wrote just because i usually just get the most excited about whatever i just wrote mm, yeah. and i do like it then if like that video does well it does give me like more motivation to like produce the song because i have a lot of yeah. songs that i like wrote and really like it at the moment but like Producing is always, like, I do enjoy it, but it's, like, kind of, like, the second. Like, I love writing a lot more and performing a lot more. So, like, producing is, like, yeah. if I'm actually going to release a song, then I go and produce it. So, like, having something, like, a TikTok go off is, like, oh, now I will go produce that song. It, like, kind of gives me, like, a motivator to actually do something, which I don't yeah. love that that's how I operate, but it just, like is a big part of it now which like it didn't really used to be like that but now it's kind of like that and I think there's the good and bad <laughs> in being motivated by yeah. it so yeah 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 no I mean it's totally valid that you take this mm-hmm. like validation mm-hmm. yeah it definitely gives like it gives like I mean yes of course like doing what you still want to release and like what mm-hmm. you want to hear from yourself but also that push is like there and people are like for example my case are like oh I thought you would write about cowboys <laughs> it's just like yeah okay I, I'm all right I'm doing that you want to read it it's okay <laughs> yeah I've noticed that like um what I was like example like I think uh I've been like following you for some time and I was wondering because I remember always a dream was like a, like the first viral song I like witnessed for you Mm-hmm. And I was wondering if that was, like, really the first time you went viral, too? Or was it a different song before that? Um, I think the first song I ever, like, kind of, yeah, did more than me just getting, like, 30 likes was my song Let You Go. And that was, like, in September mm-hmm. 2020. So it was, like, pretty early on on me being on TikTok. And then so that was kind of, like a bigger thing and that was one of my first songs to reach like a million streams and stuff too which is really cool and then after that my one it's still my top song but it was like eight nights my hanukkah song like that one did like really well because another creator used the song in the video and like her video got like a million likes or something so yeah yeah, like that was like i think my biggest one but then yeah i've had like mini ones since but yeah it's been like a slower growth which i think is good i like it's, it hasn't ever just been like a, all at once and all of a sudden I'm famous which I think that would be really hard to deal with so <laughs> yeah yeah I'm thinking a lot about that because of um last year uh complex with Katie Craxton, oh like, yeah yeah mm-hmm. when like super viral and she signed a con like mm-hmm. like I'm even more noticing the, those patterns now more and so mm-hmm. yeah totally get that I think about her a lot I'm like 
because I know I would not know how to deal with that if like a book idea of mine went viral and like a big publisher would reach out to me to be like we want to publish this I, I would not yeah. know how to deal with it so it's like yeah I'm like sending out you know um, <laughs> prayers <laughs> I'm like how do you deal with this but um yeah um all right let's talk about what's more romantic <laughs> um how would you describe it in three words in three words um i guess hopeful um desperate and you know like a you know not really it's not like what's like just like a word it's like just like a fun fun pop pop yeah Yeah. disco no no it's not disco but it's like dancey it's yeah like, it's a little dancey yeah. no. mm-hmm. but i definitely see hopeful and desperate <laughs> um when was the first time you kind of felt the song coming to you um i was like i guess i had been seeing this guy and like i've really in the beginning i was like wow like we have a lot in common like i really get along with someone and it was like a while since i actually like got along with someone like well and like could actually see myself like maybe dating them um but then like I think it was fifth date or something and then I was supposed to see him again but then like plans canceled and he was just very wishy-washy and I was kind of just seeing like the end I was like okay he's actually not that yeah. into me as I thought um and then so I was like being sad and emo about it and like because also at some point I had like driven him to um or I'd like picked him up from urgent care or something and I'd like helped him and stuff because he had like no one like all of his family was gone like all of his roommates and like friends were gone so I was like in the area and kind of the only person who like knew he was like sick and like in a bad situation so I was like okay whatever I'll go help you um and then so like to kind of cope with it I was like okay whatever maybe all I was meant to be for him was that kind stranger pretty much who was there for him at that moment and like that's it and we're not gonna date but like at least he had someone helping him at that one point um so that was like where I just came up with the first few verses and I like wrote that down in my notes app and then I think yeah a few days later I like just wrote the rest of it and recorded it pretty quickly too like this song yeah can't it was a quick uh, writing to recording thing so yeah nice yeah. I think yeah I think you said that that story as a tiktok intro mm-hmm. so I, I made that story when you like said when mm-hmm. the urchin came I was like yeah I think somewhere you said it right yeah <laughs> yeah but I I love that I love that you you know but like mm-hmm. I mean you know um coming from the same place as the song kind of gives up vibes you know like mm-hmm. being like What's a romantic? Like, I'm fine if not dating, just being a great stranger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, and you, you provided not not even us, but also, like, yourself, this, I don't know, poppy song to dance to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, did, you, did you collaborate with anyone? Did you, do you want to shout out anyone who, like, maybe uh... worked in it? Yeah. This I remember the last time for We Jumped the Gun, you had like someone who sent you, I think, a drum sample or anything. Like, I really oh, yeah, know. yeah. Um, so yeah. for this song, the production wise, no, that was all me, but uh, the music video, I was with um, his name's Evan Dang, I think is how you pronounce his last name, but he has his like um, production company family video store and they're really cool based in new york and makes just like a ton of cool diy like music videos and so yeah he like was in la so it was fun like he we worked on that for like a day along with these two um wonderful people uh, jesse and anthony they helped make the video and it was just a really fun day so mm-hmm. i love the video i've, I've watched it I was like, yeah, thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you want to say anything else in the music video um or like yeah. how did you come up the, f- the concept of i mean yeah that was like it was the concept originally like i think we had more of an I like i just had an idea of that it was just like a bunch of different scenes that would like flip through like with every beat 
and like also kind of match up to the lyrics and stuff at points but then like we ran into some issues where like we like go to the hotel and they don't let us film in the lobby because we don't have like a permit or something so then it was like okay we're oh, yeah. in the elevator and like stuff like that um so it ended up being a lot more like free form almost with like what we we're doing but like it was still like one of the scenes was in my bedroom and like I set up I ordered like eight different shaggy like grass rugs from Amazon and like just hung them like on my walls and everything and like doing all that so I like a lot of it was a lot of physical work too for the sets which was like really fun but then the shot was like maybe two or three minutes and then I spent like hours yeah. putting it up I was like wow the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was it worth it I don't know um but yeah like I think Evan too he just had a, re- a lot of really cool ideas for like the aesthetic and everything and like the we had like rented out the studio that was like really cool with like a garden and stuff inside and he had the idea of like having like the teddy bear and like um the baseball bat and everything um and then I did bake a cake for it and it didn't get too much screen time because I didn't think it looked that ugly but I think Evan thought it was really ugly <laughs> so he did <laughs> I was like oh did we ever get more shots of the cake he was like oh not really I was like oh okay (laughs) Um, but the cake tasted really good but I did put magazine letters on it though and I did definitely swallow some paper during that so (laughs) yeah yeah um I like to decorate cakes cakes too what is your favorite favorite lyric name from it um I don't know, I really like like my the the verse after the first chorus where it's yeah, like maybe all we're meant to be is the grand beginning that won't reach mm-hmm. an epilogue. And then like that continuation, I like hadn't really done it before where the verses like change melody and stuff and rhythm, like then like the first verse. So I was mm-hmm. it was fun messing around with that and then yeah, I like the words and mostly like the strings and stuff in the production that was like a really fun part to make but the lyrics of that part too <laughs> yeah no I love how you I love how that's like Daphna if I hear I like if I hear you know like um like uh pop drums and then I hear like strings like you have a sp- <laughs> I, like, you use specific strings they have like a um like whenever whenever I hear them I'm like oh this is Daphna and when, when it's actually not you I'm like Oh, Daphne sounds way better than those strings. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I really love that moment of, yeah, I remember listening to it for the first time and being like, oh my God, like in the second verse, I was like, oh my God, strings. Yes, <laughs> hell yeah. I feel like we're floating in, in I don't know, cl- cloud nine, not cl- cl- uh, cloud seven, but like cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have to say to the lyric line, it's like really... It's very poetic. I love when when the song lyrics can actually be also a good poem. So I, I really love it. <laughs> um, and and my favorite line I actually love is the one where um, what's more romantic than to be a star, the muse of an unfinished work of art. Um, and I actually sometimes, I mean sometimes. Well, I've listened to it since Friday. <laughs> so um, sometimes I change that line to like um, to be the muse of a poetry collection because it's kind of the same mm-hmm. yeah, number yeah. of syllables. And so um, you know, the the poetry collection coming out, I'm like <laughs> singing it in hopes of like the guy will find it very romantic that I've written about him. <laughs> it feels romantic for me to have written like an entire poetry collection about this kind of love I felt for someone so it's like mm-hmm. wow what's it like I'm actually jealous of him because <laughs> I'm like oh I want I would love if someone would do that so mm-hmm. <laughs> um just as I know sometimes I change the unfinished work of art to poetry collection <laughs> I mean yeah the song is already out but like where's the perfect place if someone is here and listening and it's like has not listened to the song yet um where's the perfect place to be we're listening to a singer for the first time um I think either with really good headphones just like in your room or in like the car I don't know just somewhere where it's like acceptable for you to to bop yeah. around a little bit and that you can really hear you know the production and everything yeah yeah, yeah. 
I, I love the bathroom, like shout out to the bathroom of my brother because it had good acoustic. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this old, you know, old Spanish bathroom in Barcelona. And so um, it had like good acoustic. If you could send the song, that's my favorite question. If you could send the song to any artist, dead or alive, or like band, knowing mm-hmm. they'd listen to it, who would it be? I don't know. Um, I feel like this one I like was inspired a lot by Mog Latour and like her kind of production and stuff. So maybe to her, mm-hmm. it was a little bit like, thanks for making your music. Like it inspired me a lot for like this song. Um, and she's also just really cool. Like I really love what she has going on. So yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna check my bank account and then maybe my paycheck is already here and I'm gonna buy my wine <laughs> finally. <laughs> um, like I don't know, gifting myself something for. I think like. I mean, I don't know where you are in where Europe, but like I think I do have some in select like record shops. So like shipping wise, it would be a lot less. But like, oh wow, really? Yeah, I'm not a hundred. Like, there's like something where I can like look and see where and like, but yeah, like maybe it would be near you, because then you wouldn't have to. I'm, I'm from, pay I'm from Germany. For shipping, yeah, Germany. <laughs> yeah, Germany. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm actually I'm going a lot to um London these days. London. So oh, okay, so there's definitely in London and some stores, but um. But I don't think it's shipping thirty dollars. I think it was like twenty. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's like twenty dollars or something. But either way, it's like pretty much the cost of the vinyl is how much shipping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, I just sent you. There's like a link for the where they sell it in the UK. Oh, uh, I actually went to Rough Trade um for um records day when I was there. In, oh, like, cool. Rome. So yeah, apparently so they cool. have they have my vinyl there. So. Wow. Wow. It was lovely to talk to you again. Yeah, you too. Um, Maybe, uh, yeah, I was like thinking of that because I remember last year I wanted to do an interview about your album and then, you know, I graduated high school and had like final exams. I was not really doing anything for the podcast. Um, So maybe, you know, one day if you're releasing another album, we can talk about that. Yeah, definitely. Like staying in touch and (laughs) buying your wine. Thank you.